Hello, Internet, so nice to see you. There are some situations where playing the wrong chord sounds better than playing the right chord. So we're gonna see a few very simple examples on one chord first, so you guys get the idea, and then we're gonna do this on a chord progression so you can hear how it sounds in real life. So let's start simple. Let's say the band is playing an A minor chord, and here, of course, I'm alone, so I'm gonna simulate the band using a looper. That's an A minor chord. Now, the most natural thing for me as a guitar player would be to simply join the band and play, like them, an A minor chord or arpeggio. So I can just play a chord up high on the fretboard, and I can also play it as an arpeggio. The whole thing will sound this way. So the band is playing the A minor, which is A, C, E, I'm playing A minor, which is A, C, E, no mystery. Now let's spice things just a little bit. Let's say, rather than playing an A minor chord, I am playing a C major chord. The notes in C major are C, E, G, and it will sound this way over the A minor arpeggio. Now the C major chord and the A minor chord work together. Now the listener is hearing all the notes from the A minor arpeggio, A, C, E, and all the notes from the C major arpeggio I'm playing, which are C, E, G, so in total they are hearing the notes A, C, E, G, and those are the notes in an A minor 7th chord. So the band is just playing A minor, I'm just playing C, the listener is hearing A minor 7th. It's very simple for the band, it's very simple for me, and it sounds good. But this probably is not spicy enough, so let's move it a bit forward. Let's say the band is still playing A minor, and I'm playing the E minor chord or arpeggio. Now, this definitely sounds more spicy than the original A minor over A minor. So what's happening here? Again, the band is playing A minor, A, C, E, I'm playing E minor, E, G, D, the listener is hearing A, C, E, G, D, and that's an A minor ninth chord. So I'm playing a triad, the band is playing a triad, but the listener is hearing a very complex chord. So again, what is the trick here? I just need to play a triad that is not the triad that the band is playing, and that contains some of the tension note for that triad, so for instance, the seventh or the ninth of that triad. And it's very easy for a guitar player to do that, because again, we are just playing a triad, we don't need to do any kind of complex calculations of scales and chord, we're just playing a triad. This can also be used as a lead guitar technique, and in this case I will just play the arpeggio of that superimposed chord to make it sound interesting. For instance, here I'm playing an A minor arpeggio over an A minor, to have an idea of how plain it sounds. And here I'm playing an E minor arpeggio over that A minor. As you can hear, the second one sounds much more interesting than the first one. Now let's do this for a chord progression. Let's say my chord progression is A minor, F, C, E minor. On the A minor, I'm gonna superimpose an E minor chord, which will create an A minor 9. On F major, I'm gonna superimpose a C major chord. The extra notes E and G are the major seventh and the ninth of the F. Over the C chord, I'm gonna play a G chord, and the extra notes, the B and D, are again the major seventh and the ninth. Over the E minor chord, I'm gonna play again a G triad, and the extra note D is the seventh of E minor. So the chord progression will sound like A minor nine, F nine major seventh, C nine major seven, E minor seventh. The band is gonna play A minor, F, C, E minor, and I'm gonna play E minor, C, G, G. 
Before we play that though, let's play the plain version just to have a comparison. So the band is playing A minor F C E minor, and I'm playing two A minor F C E minor. <laughs> It doesn't sound bad, it's just plain. Now let's play the superimposition. So the band plays A minor, F, C minor, I play E minor, C, G, G. Now the second version definitely sounds more sophisticated and interesting. Now remember here, I'm doing everything with one guitar, so I have a looper pedal and a guitar with a full band, bass player, keyboards, etc, etc. This sounds much bigger and much better. The important idea though is the idea of the superimposition. Again, this is a simple idea, nothing really complex, and you can do it too, and it sounds great, and it really simplifies your life. Rather than thinking of playing A minor 9, F9 major 7, C9 major 7, E minor 7, you are just thinking of playing E minor, C, G, G again. Much simpler, great sound. I'm leaving to you and to your creativity to find more interesting application of this concept. And of course, we talk more about chord superimposition in my course Complete Chord Mastery, which is a complete video course of harmony applied to guitar specifically, where we learn how to play all those chords on guitar, we learn how to superimpose chords so that they sound better, we learn all the tricks like voice leading and other tricks to make these chords sound good together and to make them sound like like they are played by a guitar and not just as a piano knockoff. You can check out Complete Chord Mastery by clicking on the link in the top right of this video. If you like this video, smash on that like button and don't forget to subscribe, and if you think this trick of superimposition is interesting, share this with your friends and let them know too. If you have any questions, comments or requests, write them down in the comments, I will read them and make videos with that. This is Tommaso Zilio, musicityforguitar.com, and until next time, enjoy!